This is the perfect song, Yo-Yo. <laughs> it is a childhood toy that may have fallen by the wayside. I'm talking about yo-yos. But this weekend is the annual New York State Yo-Yo Contest. It's a contest that brings all the great East Coast yo-yoers together <laughs> to show off their skills. And uh, here's one you might remember. That's what greatly helps it is this ball bearing in the middle. And what it does is it reduces friction. So normally right. with like a normal steel or wooden axle in the middle of your yo-yo, the longest spinning yo-yo beforehand was maybe like a minute, 60 seconds. But now with these bearings inside, they spin for a lot longer. But that makes it easier for kids to pick up exactly. the score, right? Exactly. That was exactly what I was going to say. It performs easier tricks. It brings the learning curve down a lot more because it spins for so much longer. I've been yo-yoing for 20 years, so that's why I can make this look so easy. That's Tyler Severance. John Elliott interviewed him back during the start of the pandemic when John was doing weather forecasts from his backyard. Now Tyler's back in New York for the contest and joins us now to show us some tips and tricks. Welcome. Thanks so much for having me. All right, so we heard in the clip that you've been doing this for 20 years. You obviously know all about it. So what age did you start and, and what sparked your interest? I started yo-yoing when I was eight and I just thought it was a really cool thing. I was raised as by a single parent, so it has a very low barrier for entry. When I won the World Yo-Yo Contest, I won with a $20 yo-yo, so it doesn't cost much money to get started. You don't need a lot of equipment or a venue to go do it in like a lot of other sports, so a lot of kids excel at it that wouldn't necessarily excel at other activities. And it's just a great activity to uh, test, stu uh, not students, all kids' uh, dexterous skills with their hands and then their uh, hand-eye coordination as well. So it's an awesome toy. All right, I don't know what that says about my hand-eye coordination, <laughs> that I have never, ever been able to do it. I, I guess that's everything. You've never had know. a world champion teach you. There you go. Yes, there I you never. go. Let's give it a try. The first okay. step, you want to make a big muscle up by your ear like this. And you got to oh, pretend. Wow. you got to make sure you use scared, the entire least. forearm, okay? Okay. Because you only have a little bit of potential energy stored in your wrist, right? I only have about three inches in my range of motion. So watch me. i got to throw my yo-yo like this doesn't spin very fast, so I got to tug it back up. doesn't retain a lot of speed, right? So watch what I do. I use my whole forearm to throw from my elbow to my wrist. Let's do this motion together. Don't throw the yo-yo. Okay. Just like this. So our whole forearm, right? Okay. And then look, when I throw my yo-yo, what direction is my palm facing? Up. Up, up right? And then if you look, my yo-yo is spinning Woo! straight at the end of my string. And then to return it, I flip my wrist over and then tug it just like that. So it's three separate steps. So watch mine one more time. So you're okay. going to extend your arm all the way out, flip your wrist over, and then tug up like that. Give it a try for me. Okay. Go ahead. Should, should we do it on three? Yeah. Go ahead. Let's, oh, God, go, let's okay. do it together. You ready? Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Three, oh. two, one, yo. And then tug it up. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. This is a great opportunity for us to learn how to roll it back up. Okay. So, how do we roll it back so up? So grab your yo-yo with your non-throw hand, the hand that doesn't have the yo-yo string okay. attached to it. Make sure you're holding it from just this one half, like you're holding an Oreo, but you're not going to crack open the Oreo. Take your other hand, grab the yo-yo string right underneath. Uh -huh. Your hand that's holding the yo-yo, lift your index finger up. You're going to roll your yo-yo string over top of that finger one time, then underneath all the way back up to the top. Yeah, there you go. All the way up, just once over top of your finger. Yep, that's okay. And then just keep rolling all the way up. This big loop, this big ugly piece of string right. that will throw right out when we go to throw it. Roll it up and let's try to will learn another now? trick. I promise. Yours will. Okay, so wait a minute. We start again. Okay. Yep. So let's try sad. to learn another trick real this quick. Hold your arm all the way out like this. A trick? We're yeah. just trying to get oh, it to come back up. It's pretty easy, I promise. Okay, okay, it's called okay, the okay. forward pass. It looks like this. So you're going to hold your arm out like this and you're going to turn it over, pull it all the way back behind your waist. You're going to drop your yo-yo back here behind mm -hmm. your waist, okay? I can't just Spider-Man my yo-yo. I see how gravity drops my yo-yo back down okay. to the ground. So what I want to do is make my yo-yo do a big arc. So down toward the ground and then pull up. It's okay. I'm not going to hit anyone. Right, Never hit anyone. I'm not concerned about you. No offense. No, I'm I know. About I know. You. Watch again. You're going to drop it back here, flip okay. it out, and then pull back towards right. your waist. Oh, Whoa, my gosh. That was close. Hey. Show us your favorite trick. We, we're no good, trick, obviously. It's one, it's called the DNA. This trick okay. is very popular with uh, a lot of newer yo yo players. TikTok, or yo yo is trending on TikTok <gasps> right now. That was you're close, okay. Tyler. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> wow. Never hit anyone on accident before. <laughs> <laughs> so that trick's called a DNA. I can't do it for very long with this yo-yo. It's a beginner yo-yo, but there you nice. go. It kind of looks like a DNA spiral. This trick is called a shoot the moon. Ooh, oh. Ooh, oh my gosh. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Trying not to hit any lights here. 
Wow. Shoot the moon. Everyone's familiar with Walk the Dog, mm -hmm. right? I've seen it done. So yo-yos <laughs> yo -yos are actually the second oldest toy. They're 2,500 years old. So like I said, yo-yos just recently got this ball bearing added in the middle. So all yo-yos spin for a long time now. They're a lot easier to use. If anybody wants to visit NewYorkYoYoClub.com and uh, check out the New York State Yo-Yo Contest this weekend, I'd love to have some new players come out and join us. Aww. All right. So now you've participated in the contest for the past several years. Can you tell us more about what you're looking forward to about the contest? I look forward to meeting all the new players and teaching the new players. Yo-Yo changed my life. Like I said, I was raised by a single mom and I didn't have a ton of opportunity. So Yo-Yo, I've been to over 25 countries playing with Yo-Yos. I teach about 10,000 kids a year how to Yo-Yo and I've taught kids that go on to be world and national champions themselves. So it's a really equal opportunity for everyone to get a chance to have fun no matter what kind of uh, challenges that they experience in life and it's just it's a really awesome toy I can't rave about how amazing it is. <laughs> well I just want to first of all you look very very young so I had to ask you how old you're 31. I'm 31 yeah I started going when I was eight. And you became world champion at 15. Yeah. And this is actually a profession like this you do this full time. I do it's not like I just wake up in the morning when I explain <laughs> it to kids it's not like I'm just like <laughs> and I wake up and yo-yo I actually design and manufacture these yo-yos I perform about 200 shows a year for kids where I teach them the applied physics about how yo-yos work it meets most states science and physical education curriculum standards wow. so everyone learns about the science of how yo-yos work and then also the physical education that goes along with it as well believe it or not <laughs> um, I, know, I believe it I have a question though What's what up? is sort of the ideal age because I think ours isn't the ideal age to if she has a little one. yo-yo is great for everyone it's one of those toys that they annoyingly put age 7 to 77 or age 9 wow. to 99 it's, I would say, start around six to seven years old. Okay. That's about the perfect age that I teach at, about first or second grade. That's when they start to develop the, the mm -hmm. skills necessary to be able to throw the yo-yo up and down. Okay. But there's people, there's a judge this weekend at the New York State Yo-Yo Contest that I think is 45. <laughs> He's an amazing yo-yo player. Nice. So, yeah, they're... The, the average age of yo-yo players is slowly climbing every year because more and more people are getting involved. So now there's actually a over 40 division at the World wow. Yo-Yo Contest. I love that. <laughs> wow. And not to be a downer, but um, you have had some injuries. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I don't mean no, to laugh, no, but, but not at this all. is... I, not at all. I, I have had a couple it. injuries. Yeah, I've broken my toe before when I went to throw a yo-yo really hard without shoes on, and I was much smaller, not mm -hmm. in recent history. I wear my shoes most of the time now. <laughs> um, throwing a yo-yo sideways and missing, grabbing the yo-yo like that, I accidentally hit myself in the face, cracked my two front teeth, I have a big scar mm. on the side of my face. But like I explained to students that I teach, any uh, career that you want to take serious, you're going to incur some risk, you need to push yourself and challenge yourself, so that's exactly what I was doing. And here I am now on Tyler, the news on CBS. Thank you so much. I love it. <laughs> and I'm sorry, you're a great teacher. We're just yes, bad we're students, bad, so it's all on us. And uh, we'll practice. You guys are amazing. Yeah. <laughs> See, he's thank so you nice. so much. All right, if you want to show up and support Tyler, the Yo-Yo Fling starts at 11 a.m. at the Coney Island Museum on Surf Boulevard. Tickets are available for spectators all day. The first com competition starts at 12:30.